Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished recording a makeup tutorial that won't be up for a little while longer because I want to make sure that this one gets out soonest. But basically, today I'm going to be swatching all of these new Alien Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Just to let you know, Alien Cosmetics is making the switch to Unearthly Cosmetics. So this is, I think, the last thing that they're going to have that's going to actually say Alien Cosmetics on it. I wanted to talk a little bit about the packaging. It's like a snow globe, and it's got like little confetti moon and stars in there. Hope you can see it. It's so pretty, and then it's all black that fades into the color that the lipstick is. There are 12 altogether in this collection, and I'm going to try all these lipsticks on. First, pin this back I guess. I'll say I'm not gonna do like a wear test or anything like it's already night and I'm not going anywhere so I'm gonna take this off first. All right so in no particular order I'm just gonna start trying these on. This first one is called Angela. I'm gonna see how not good I am at applying lipsticks. All right this is definitely one of those products that's like Buildable. I've gotten like a nice matte coverage in most places here. I think that I need to kind of let it dry. I have had plenty of lipsticks like this. I don't think that it's a bad thing. All right, Samantha. Oh, 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 okay. This color went way more opaque right away. Like I don't feel like it needs any additional layers. And it is very loud and pink and, ooh, Linda. This one is another like insane Barbie candy pink, and if that's your thing, great. It's not really my thing, but it is super matte. Again, went down in one layer. Um, not a lot of fuss. Very nice. Next color, Diana. All right, so this is a nice nude. I feel like. This is something that would give you that like 90s, 2000s effect if you put a darker lip liner on top and it would probably look gorgeous than someone with like deeper skin with uh, lip gloss on top, something like that. All right, next we have Mandy. This color is like very like, like punky, like grungy, right? Like you can see it with one of those yellow tartan skirts. Very cool. Again, no building the coverage. I guess I shouldn't have started with our girl Angela here. Maybe I need to shake it up better. I don't know. Probably my fault. All right, next we have Jeanette. It looks pretty similar to the last one, but we'll see. This is a lot warmer and orangier when the other one was more green. And if you're into like seasonal makeup, this is a very fall lipstick or like just in general, very witchy lipstick, which is what Alien Cosmetics is actually really great at. We're going in with K-A-Y-L-E-N-A. -E Kalina. All right, this one is more brown, again, more like 90s. Very pretty, very full coverage. I feel like businessy. All right, next we have Gladys. Holy smokes. That took a little bit of building, but not much at all considering how insanely bright it is. I hope that on camera is how it looks in real life because this is like the brightest orange. Very vintage. You know what it's giving me? Lady from Edward Scissorhands that tries to come on to Edward all the time. Minerva. Gorgeous. Didn't have to build. So nice. I'm a big fan of this one. It's a very warm, bright red. Next we've got Eva. All right, this took no coverage buildup either. I do think that this would be way more flattering on someone with a different skin tone than me, but hey, that's why we gotta make videos like this so people see what it's gonna look like on skin months like theirs before they purchase it. I written new Jasmine. All right, it looks like Jasmine and Eva are very similar, but I think that Jasmine is just a bit more saturated and more of like a yellow. It's almost like if gold wasn't metallic, then it's more like this color. All right, last one, Ginger. Right, 
like this took a little building it reminds me a lot of that orange from before but seriously guys in real life this is almost like neon it's crazy to look at especially with the eyeshadow i have going on i'm gonna leave this one on for my final thoughts here so so far first impressions definitely recommend i can't say anything to the longevity of this product when i use it in the future and wear it outside and for you know an extended amount of time i will definitely update you on that for here and now though, they seem very nice. They go on creamy, they have a very flat finish, but they don't feel super dry. Uh, only one of them took a little bit of buildable coverage, but we got there, not a big deal, and that was Angela. And it might be that I just need to like shake it up a little bit more. But yeah, crazy pigmented, lovely colors. I think that it's worth watching other videos of this or checking out the Unearthly Cosmetics Instagram page to see what it looks like on other skin tones, but I'm a big fan. If you want to save a little bit of money buying one of these, I have a discount code in the description of this video. Yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Look.